Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're working out here in the garage, and I got like really hungry, and I'm uh, really busy. I got tons of stuff to do. I got Plan B, you know, I got monkey business over here. I've got another one over here, you know. We're just, we're just kicking it out today, but uh, I'm hungry. So, we're gonna make uh, steak foil packs. I got all the ingredients in the fridge, um, so. Let's go in the house, we'll get in the kitchen, get everything prepped, and then we'll get out here and back out here and get to cooking. Alright y'all, let's get these things prepped. Um, I'm going to start by dicing up a, we're going to dice up another potato. Um, getting ahead of myself. Uh, we're going to make up two of these packs. One for now, one for later. You want to kind of cut your t potatoes in a kind of smaller pieces because you want them to get cooked uh, without your everything else getting burnt. So. I got a nut. I actually got two onions diced up. This is two potatoes. Um, we're gonna. This is sirloin, boneless sirloin. So we're gonna go ahead and get it chopped up. And beans were gonna be eaten in the garage. We're uh, gonna make it kind of bite-sized pieces if you uh we're gonna you know eat this you know at a table or you know whatever you can uh leave them whole or you know like if you're doing camping this is awesome because you can eat right out of the foil pack and there's no cleanup you know so when i used to go camping a lot we used to actually prep this stuff, you know, before we'd leave and, you know, put everything in their own little individual bags because some people didn't like the potatoes, some people didn't like the onions, the, uh, I got mushrooms back there, you know, you know everybody likes their own stuff, so. Alright, let's grab our foil, I've already got it measured out, hopefully. The right size. All right. Super simple. We're going to take taters, dump them in, take our meat, meat group, onions. Break them up. Now I use a double layer of foil, uh, especially if you're going to be doing them like in a fire or charcoal. Uh, we're going to be cooking them on the grill out by the garage, so it just seems like it works a lot better. We need some garlic because you know everything's better with garlic. Oops. All right. There should be enough of that. Get some mushrooms in here. I have a feeling that my uh, foil is not going to be big enough. So, but hey, it is what it is. There's all that stuff. Get that all kind of piled back up in there. Now, a little bit of salt and pepper. And if you want, if you're a steak sauce kind of person, which I am not, um, you can put your steak sauce right in there. What is that? That's garlic pepper. We don't want garlic pepper. We already got garlic in there, but all right. Put a pepper in there. Now <clears throat> I just need to. Uh, 
get these uh, sides here. Yeah, move our stuff around in there a little bit. Bring our sides up like that. Get them kind of square, kind of fold. Get a couple folds on it, a couple twists on it there. That way nothing leaks out. Roll your ends up like that. Eh, we got an onion all the way down here. Get back in there. All right. Fold, fold. Squeeze them down good and tight. Good and tight. So there's our first one. Oh, we forgot something in this one, but it'll be all right. We'll make sure we get it in the second one. So. We may open that other one back up and do it. So we got our taters, beef, got our onions in here. Okay, shrooms, garlic, get that in there, alright, now what we forgot in our other one, is you got to put some butter in here, because it makes it better, okay, there, now, let's see if we can get this one sealed up, Really that one's gonna this one's gonna leak a little bit but it'll be all right we'll just cook it seam up more okay there we go we're all prepped we're ready for the grill let's see if we can open this one back up here and Get our butter in there, because we definitely need the butter. Oh, 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 hey, there we go. All right. Get our butter thrown in there. My butter was frozen whenever I started. Starting to melt, stick into the bowl. All right, good enough. Good enough. Okay, now get that wrapped back up, sealed back up, hopefully. Okay, there we go, y'all. I'll take these out we're gonna throw them on the grill and uh, we'll get to cooking all right y'all we got the grill all warmed up here so we're gonna go ahead and throw our uh, foil packs on here and I got it set to a medium low heat you know don't want it to cook too fast but you know so all right we'll uh, catch you all in about uh, 20 minutes all right, y'all. It's been about 10 minutes or so. Um, I can actually smell them. So, it's, uh, whew, don't touch the edge of your grill. It's hot. I need to switch hands with the camera here. Sorry. Um, let's see if we can get these things flipped over. Yeah, that one's leaking. Oh, well. it'll be all right. All right, that first one's leaking there, but it'll be all right. So, all right, we're gonna cook it for a little longer. 
all right y'all know if it's showing up on camera but we got some good steam rolling out of them things they're smelling delicious but uh, we've still got a little bit a little bit more time to go so we're gonna close the hood and uh, just uh, keep them letting them cook on so oh, I'm getting real hungry these are smelling delicious all right y'all it's been about uh, 45 minutes uh, I kind of got a little sidetracked but uh, not a big deal uh, hopefully they're not burnt if they are we'll still eat them but uh, let's get these off or get I'm gonna get the front one off the grill we'll get her in the shop and uh, we'll cut into it and we'll have some yumminess all right y'all we've got a kind of a makeshift eating situation here so we're gonna cut into this and uh, see what we got so Oh, smells good. Smells really good. Ooh. Oh, yeah, she's looking real good. That's warm, y'all. Really warm. Oop. Get that piece of... Ooh. Y'all, I wish we had smell vision This makes working out in the shop worth it. Alright, let me get this cut open and we'll bring y'all back. Alright y'all, got that pack all opened up. You can see. Got our taters nice and done there. The onions are tender. You know, some of the beef's nice and, you know, well done. Some of it's nice and tender. It is looking awesome. Smells great. So, let's, uh, let's do a taste test. Alright, y'all. Moment of truth. How's our garage cooking? So... Grab me up a piece of that steak, which is probably really hot because it's good and steamy, but mm. y'all, that steak is good and tender. Great flavor with that garlic and onions and everything in there. I gotta get me some taters. You know. Oh, taters. Mmm. Y'all, this has such a unique flavor to it. You'll never get this anything else, anywhere else. This is delicious. So, alright. I'm going to get out here and, and uh, continue eating. Get this finished. We're going to get some more stuff done here in the shop. But, uh, hope you all like this one. Uh, we might be doing some more of them. we got a lot to do out here. And we always got to eat, you know, bear, bears got to eat. So if you did like this one, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, get the notification of everything we do here in the garage, in the kitchen, and, uh, you know, wherever we happen to be. Um, you never know where we're going to cook at or wrench on anything. So anyways, as always, bear appetite.